I think it's completely normal for you to have this desire for respect. And I don't think you're getting it right now. I think respect is something that's lacking in the today's world. And that's not because we don't take it or because you're not a Sigma male or because you're not six foot. You don't get respect because you use the word respect and not fear. I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about in just a second. But the f thing you are doing is you're running after the wrong thing. You're watching all these videos and all they tell you is lower your voice, have better posture, go to the gym. Mm. And it's just kind of like, mm, ah, it's sort of right, sort of wrong advice. And I want to clean up with this. I want to do it right. And I want to help you do the right things to gain respect. I'm not gonna lie to you. Years ago, I struggled getting respect just like you. I wasn't respected by anyone and who wonders I was a little soy boy I was thin I didn't have any strength I was kind of like skinny fat you know I had never a good body and what led me to improve wasn't only going to do through the gym it wasn't only working out and getting in better shape, which a lot of people think, oh, it was, it was only that. Today, I'm gonna to tell you the whole story that got me to get respect from people. Let's talk about what we're talking about here. We're not talking about respect. We're talking about fear. Saying, I respect you, is basically the way of saving ego and not saying I fear you because in the human brain there isn't really a feeling like respect there's either I feel superior to you like I feel better than you or I feel lower than you worse than you submissive to you there is submissiveness and superiority not fear anger respect all these feelings are an invention of the modern era because you would think oh respected is a man who has good posture who has a good body shape who looks good you are afraid of certain things every man has fears and if you say i respect you you're basically saying i fear you and the way to gain respect, therefore, is doing things you are afraid of doing or things that the group you are with is afraid of doing. Because respect is always relative to the group you're with. There might be groups you don't want respect in. There might be groups where you crave respect in. When you're around with your family, you probably just want to chill. But when you have like 15 men that you all like on the table right now, like your brothers, you of course want respect from them and this is how you get it you are in this group setting because you only want respect in the group setting when you're alone you don't really want respect right you don't care about how much respect other people have for you when they're not around oh or when they don't notice what you're doing let's say it like this so when you're with this group and the group is kind of afraid of doing something, you're afraid of jumping off the cliff into the water, or you're afraid of the cool cold water, you're afraid to start self-improvement journey, you're afraid to go under the bench. And everyone's standing there afraid, but I'm telling you to gain respect, step out and do what they won't. If you can do what they won't, you will be respected. This is why soldiers are respected, because they do the thing everyone else is afraid of doing. They get into battle, they risk their lives, so other people don't have to. And this is how you get respect, you do what other people won't, you do what other people are afraid of doing. And there is one question that I want to ask you in basically added on top of this. Are you fearable? Who would fear you? Be honest. Would only your little brother fear you? Or would also people fear you who are bigger than you, who are stronger than you because you have some little small trait that makes them afraid of you? 
And be honest, would this small little trait really make them afraid of you? This is respect. Being afraid of someone causes respect. There is no respect, there is fear. And I want to get this into your mind and I'm going to say it a thousand times. Respect equals fear. If someone says, I respect you, he says, I fear you. Now, you've probably noticed the cross behind me and the cross on my necklace. I'm Christian and I just want to tell you that the wisdom from this video, the wisdom that I just told you came from God. It didn't come from me. I'm not talking because I want to glorify myself with this. I want to show you with this video both what to do to get respect, of course, but that's only, that's only secondary. I want to teach you or I want to show you how good God is, how much wisdom he gives you. This is the main point of every single video on this channel. What I say now is applying to every single video. I didn't get these ideas myself. I didn't work for these ideas. They simply popped in my mind. So they came from God and I want to praise God for everything he gives me. And I want to praise God for the wisdom he gave me that I now gave you. And we need to pray for each other because being a man is hard. Let's just be honest. We can all stand here and say, oh yeah, it's so easy. I love, I love being a man. Sometimes you don't. And I know this. Sometimes you would love to be a woman and just be like, oh yeah, some guy will take me. But it is not like that for men. Men have to fight for every inch of their lives. And I think it's important that we support each other in this and we might not know each other you might not know the brother of you who's watching this video right now but i want you to pray for him and i want you to pray for me i'm gonna pray for you this evening and i want you to pray for each other and i want you to pray for me because only like that only with the support of our brothers are we going to get along in our lives we need God and we need each other. So let's not forget that we can help each other even though we don't even know each other. You can simply pray whoever watches these videos shall be glorified, shall be winning tomorrow. Shall have a blessed day, blessed life, blessed body, whatever. So I want to take this chance to exalt Jesus Christ in your heart and to just make you know that Jesus loves you and that he died for you and that you can spread this positive energy to every single man who is struggling right now in his life and who watches videos like these on a day-to-day -day basis and doesn't find help because the wisdom of most videos comes from man. It mostly is cold analytics or what do people need. I simply tell you what God tells me and so I want you to pray for me, pray for each other, because only like that, we are going to come along. I can repeat it 10 times, but if you don't do it, it's not going to do a damn thing. The take home part of this video is to do what you're afraid of doing, to do what the group is afraid of doing, and to pray for each other. Have a nice day. Look at the sun. It's beautiful. Look at this. It's literally a beautiful day today beautiful this is where i live man i'm so grateful for um having beautiful weather today and be mindful have a nice day